Welcome to another mailback or postback video, where I'll show a couple of things I ordered from AliExpress, and in the end, I'll also share my latest LCSC order, which they sent me for free. It contains a couple of very interesting microcontrollers, including 20 cent microcontroller which has USB built in. First thing is this small thing, which says it is just one screw. Description is close, but no cigar. These are threaded inserts with M3 thread inside. This is one way of adding strong threads to things like 3D printed parts, wood, or other soft materials. You first make a hole that is slightly smaller than outer diameter of these inserts. Then you press one of these in the hole, and you may heat these before pushing when inserting these into plastic parts. I paid about $1.50 for 100 of these. There are small price differences between different sizes. Next item is something I've tried ordering from eBay or AliExpress at least three times before, without never receiving the item. Description says household solar based, which is pretty much what it is. I do most of my SMD soldering using solder wire, but every now and then I use solder paste for fine pitch components. So far I've used solder paste so little that this 25 grams should last a while. Now that I have a reflow oven, I might start using more of this though. But anyway, this small portion is enough for now. It's nice to finally have a fresh soldering paste. Then I got a tool which is essential for people who like to fix their own cars. There are different kinds available, but it's important to have some kind of scanner tool. There are standalone types with displays, but this is one that is meant to be used with phone or other mobile device with Bluetooth. This plugs into your car's OBD2 port and then things like diagnostic trouble codes, live data from sensors can be accessed using mobile phone. I like to use Android app called Torque on my tablet. It works flawlessly. These work with most cars that are made after 2001 in Europe or after 96 in USA. Older cars may have similar port, but it doesn't actually mean that they are compatible. This particular unit costed just $2.60 and I've used these similar devices with free version of Torque app and I've been able to find and fix many problems in our cars thanks to data retrieved using these tools. Rest of the video is about this package from lcsc.com. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, they sent me this for free. In exchange, I will make videos about the content. First, there are a couple of components I may need in future project. Just regular fast diodes. Some film capacitors, which are larger than the ones in my previous order. And these beefy MOSFETs. The main specs are here somewhere. There they are. 200 volts and 130 amps max. Then the interesting part. Microcontrollers that cost only 20 cents when buying 100 or more. That may not be anything special, but these have built-in USB and USB bootloader. These CH551G microcontrollers can be programmed without any external programmers. Just connect directly to the USB port. To be honest, these are in many ways low-end microcontrollers, but the cheap price and built-in USB make this unique and very interesting in my mind. I will make a video of my first thoughts about using these in the future. I know that low amount of memory will limit the opportunities a lot, but I'm sure these will be useful in some applications. I also got two different microcontrollers that are different, but at the same time they are pretty much the same. Many of you might know the STM32F103 microcontroller from ST. This is the microcontroller used in so-called Blue Pill development board, but in the other pack there's something quite similar. These are GD32F103 microcontrollers from Giga Device. As far as I know, these are supposed to be compatible with the STM32 equivalents. Compatible in the sense that the pinouts are the same, 
but also this can be programmed using the code written for the STM32. I will test some of the basic functionalities of these microcontrollers and I try to see if these can be direct replacements for the STM32 in those test situations. In case that I'll make my own PCBs for the test, I asked for some oscillators, both low speed and high speed oscillators. I noticed that I messed up the quantities in ordering process, but oh well, there are enough each of these for my testing. You can find links to all of these products in the video's description. For the products I bought from AliExpress, I recommend searching for similar products, even though I got the cheapest ones, they might not be the cheapest ones when you see this video. I would like to thank lcsc.com for sending me these components, and thank you for supporting my channel by watching, commenting, and liking my videos. See you in next video. Thanks. Bye.